All right, let's uh, – Max, he's out. Timmy, uh, return to practice. We'll see how he feels tomorrow. And then Omax is out. How big, how big was this loss for uh, Max? Uh, what's next man up? So uh, we would love to be healthy. Uh, but Maxie's out, so there's nothing we can do. It's, it's on to the next guy. So who, who's the next guy? And we get Timmy back, so we get healthy there. So uh, that's that's how we'll look at it, is that we lost Maxie, but we get Timmy back. In terms of bigs, uh, do you see Markeith as a possibility for getting some minutes? Yeah. Um, the, the Oklahoma's not a big team, so... Right. Uh, looking at in terms uh, of versatility, because they yeah, we, bigs. We, yeah, uh, who does Oklahoma, Oklahoma City? City yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we can we can look at uh, Keith, uh, DP, uh, PJ. Uh, we got quite a few bigs that we can go to, so um, we're not short on bigs. Right. Okay. Do you uh, in any way view uh, you know? Everybody's pointing out the fact that OKC has the youngest roster to make a second round entry ever. Do you view them in any way as a young team? I mean, their their play on the court does not seem to indicate that. Yeah, they're they're young uh, on paper, but uh, they have uh, coach of the year. Mark's done an incredible job with that group. Uh, you look at Shea, uh, MVP candidate, could easily win MVP. Uh, you look at Dort, has been in the league. Uh, they've been together, uh, you know, as a group. Uh, Chad is young, but uh, they play, you know, hard. Uh, they play extremely well at home. Uh, but on paper, they're young, but uh, they had the best record in the West. And so, uh, uh, you know, age isn't, is, it's not about age, it's about being able to execute. And uh, hopefully, we can do that on the road. Do they remind you any, Jason, of the team you guys played in 2011, the OKC team with Hart and Westbrook? And yeah, uh, they were young. Right. That group was young mm -hmm. uh, in, in 2011. Uh, they were good, too. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were well coached with uh, with Scotty. So, uh, again, uh, there are some similarities. Uh, when you look at that, uh, they were that, – that was a, a big team, too. Uh, when you look at – um, this team with Oklahoma City, they're, they're, they have a bunch of uh, smalls and mediums who can flat out, you know, score the ball. Um, and so we, we have to do a good job of guarding the ball on ball. Uh, they're one of the best teams of being able to get in the gaps and, and get to the rim. And so we, we got to protect the rim and, and the paint. A couple of years ago, you, you described the team that went to the conference finals as, as a, you would often describe it as a, as a young team. Um, now, two years later, the, the two stars leading are, are older. One of them is different, um, you know. But the, a lot of the role players, at least by age, are, are even younger than they were then. What stage of development, you know, is this roster? Is this team um, both going into this playoffs and then going forward? Yeah, I think uh, it's a young team. Uh, this, you know, some of the major pieces uh, got here at the trade deadline. So uh, I would say that it's young. Uh, Luke is still young. He's only 25. Uh, but when you look at uh, Kai, uh, he's 30-something. Um, you, you have to, uh, you know, uh, again, go through different scenarios, situations, uh, good and bad, learn from them, and, uh, and find a way to win. And that's what this group has done, you know, since the trade deadline. Is, uh, we've used the season to, uh, to be successful and also – We've had some situations where we didn't play our best, but we learned from them, and uh, and we've used that experience into the playoffs. After that trade deadline, you beat this team by 35 points. How much stock do you put in that game, and what can you learn from that game going forward? Yeah, that's just, that's just a regular season game. Um, playoffs are a little bit different, but that's, I think, the only game that Kai and Luka played together. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we really didn't have a, uh, our, our group uh, when we played uh, Oklahoma City, especially the last game. Uh, but, again, uh, with having everyone right after the trade deadline with, uh, you know, making that trade and having Kai and Luca play for the first time against Oklahoma City, uh, we can look at some of the things that we had success with, and, and hopefully we can do that again uh, on Tuesday. What did you learn about your group 
in taking out the Clippers that you want to obviously carry over going into this round with the Thunder, whether it be offensively, defensively, or from a mindset standpoint? What did you learn about this group? Yeah, uh, this is a team. You know, we're a group. Uh, we uh, we play together. You know, a lot of the attention will be on Luca and Kai, but uh, the role players uh, believe they're a big part of this too. And so, uh, no one's uh, going to panic if uh, things don't go well for us. We we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll talk about it. Uh, we watch it on film. Um, but this group is uh, tightly, um, you know, a, a tight group that does a lot of things together on and off the floor. So. Um, that's what I've learned in this this first series is that there is no panic. Uh, there's a lot of calmness with this group, and everybody just goes out there and does their job. Um, that doesn't mean that you're always going to win, but uh, if you can put your best foot forward, uh, that gives you a chance, and that's all we can ask for. You've known Kyrie a long, long time, and, and you talked the other night about his worldliness. Uh, <laughs> how have you seen him uh, maybe mature? I don't know if that's the right word, but, but uh, how he's changed in... Uh, in the years leading up to now? Yeah, you know, I th that's a question for him. Um, but from the outside, you know, I th I th you look at his calmness, um, his, he's at peace. Uh, and sometimes at a certain age in life, you, that, that comes about. Um, but also um, with the people that he's around, um, maybe plays a part in that too. And so, um, and I'm guessing, but that, that could also have something to do with it. But you can see uh, he's smiling, he's happy, um, and he's been that way, I think, uh, since he arrived last year after, after, at the trade deadline. When we made that trade for him, I thought you saw that he was happy and he was at peace. And I don't think he's, he's been very consistent uh, with that, you know, up to this point. And so uh, I think he's just happy. But I've known him for a, a long time, and he's always been – um, wanting to be happy, but he loves competition, and he wants to, to win, and uh, you can see that right now. What about uh, Dallas as a sports market? Both of you guys went through the meat grinder, so to speak, about uh, of New York. Do you think Dallas as a sports market is maybe a little less uh, harsh in terms of whether it's media, fans, or some combination of? Uh, you want me to answer that for him? Uh, no, I you, can't. For you've me, been I, through it. I can care less. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys understand that. I don't care what you guys say. So um, you can write or um, think uh, what you want. You can, you have a right to your opinion. But my job is to make these young men better on and off the floor. And uh, I think I've done that. But you guys won't say that. But that's cool. I'm um, pretty much. I pretty no, don't much, go into I. It's, it's a team in here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I have, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm, I'm pretty sure I have said I, and written I know, that. But, I'm joking. Okay. I'm joking. There's also some players who that, that does affect more. You know. Yeah, that's my job. Is you can see my teams don't panic. We're not going to panic because uh, we lost a game. That's that's up to the fans. But <laughs> there's no lying team, but there's an enemy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, not here. But you know, I, I think this is a great group. Uh, everybody gets along. Everybody cheers for each other. I think you guys have seen that. Um, it's a, it's a it's this great group. Uh, Nico has done an incredible job of putting this group together, and uh, in a short amount of time, it's had success. So now the the goal is to continue to build on that stack has made good days. There's going to be some days where, you know, things don't go well, um, but we come back to work and, and we find a way to get better. And that, that's what that's what it's all about, is it's about team. Again, Luca and Kyrie are going to get a lot of the attention, but uh, when you hear them talk, they talk about the other guys, which is, uh, you know, sometimes you, you don't see that with star players, but that, that's, that's cool to see. Coach, okay. I wanted to ask about uh, Chet. I know you're not going to give away your strategy for guarding him, but um, yeah, so. can you just talk about his rookie season, what you thought about him this Yeah, season? he's been great. Uh, um, Sweeney knows him uh, well uh, from AAU days in Minnesota. So, uh, you know, you look <clears> at his frame, uh, he's one of the top shot blockers in the league. Uh, he can put it on the floor, uh, loves the game of basketball, competes, uh, had a heck of a season this year. And, uh, and so we, we have to be conscious of him when he's uh, on the floor at the rim uh, because he, he, he finds a way to block shots, and so we have to account for him. 
Christian, you talked about this being a great team. What's the key in the foundation blocks to build a great team? Patience, time. You know, I think uh, also having the right people. You know, and that that sometimes you, it takes time to to find those those right pieces. Um, and when you do, you hold on to them, and you continue to to look for those uh, other pieces. And right now, we have a lot of pieces that fit, and so. This group is, you know, is is really, really good in a shorter amount of time, and so we, we have to build on that. People will kind of bring up the rest versus rush question. Um, it'll be 10 days since they played, I guess, roughly four for you guys. Do you think the four-day window is actually kind of a good in-between where you've had, you'll get a little recoup time, but also maybe not lose your edge? Yeah, I think uh, when we get rest, we're terrible. <laughs> 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 we, we've seen that with the all-star break and at the end of the season. So uh, hopefully this this is enough rest for those guys. But I'm just joking. But uh, we'll see. Uh, some, sometimes there could be a little rust early. But um, at this point of the season, um, you know, the more rest that you can get because uh, you guys are playing um, heavy minutes, uh, the, the better it is. In a situation like this, Jason, when you're basically playing every other day now, how much of an advantage is it for you guys playing this team as opposed to Portland, which is way up the street? Yeah, the the, the commute is, is uh, easier. Um, we're playing late games, so uh, except Saturday, um, so yeah, it's uh, it's it's good that we don't have to travel to LA. We're happy that we're not uh, playing today in LA, uh, and so uh, the travel is good. Uh, but we're playing the best team in the Western Conference, and so this is a great challenge for us. Is Lucas so good at assists that he passed his cold to you? I got it. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Well, somebody did. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. No, no worries. Thanks. 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 Thank yeah, you. Look up